Amazing images, amazing scenes. Saw Rochelle Ballard in there as well and uh, put a smile on my face, taking us back to to the good old days of, of women's surfing. And look at this lineup. Sally Fitzgibbons, Brisa Hennessy and Luana Silva Kaipo. Got the Northwest swell pumping through as we see Luana taking off now. Oh yeah, the 17 year old with a big drop there, but it's just gonna have to straighten out and get that jet ski ride back. That's gonna be an advantage. We talked about that before. Mm -hmm. uh, so inconsequential ride to open up this heat. The veteran take off right now, Sally Fitzgibbons. <laughs> Sally Fitzgibbons <laughs> gliding through here, 31 years young on the tour, and uh, this is going to be the first really consequential score in this matchup, and Fitzgibbons oh, handling oh. it and hangs on to that last turn, oh. BL. That was well done. And, and if she was in front of it, she most probably would have got pushed onto the wave and stayed with it. Here's Sally. Drops down. You can see the patience in the turns. Nice and controlled, especially here. Look, sunset. There's so much time in between what you do, and it's how you stylize that moment, those moments that, that bring the class to your performance. Sally's got a lot of that class. Unfortunate little loss of the rail there, little quiver as the board went down the face. Um, interesting whether that would be considered completed or not, but definitely um, would have been better to have come out of that white water cleanly. I want to ask Lane another question, Lane. How do you handle, what's the key to handling the lump and bump and warbles? Well, as Barton suggests, it's actually taking your time through the turns, but we'll wait to uh, comment on that as we watch Luana ride this beautiful looking wave through the inside here. But as you say, yeah, there's a lot of lump and bump and chop. And also the distinct advantage is having some fins that are, can, hold the, can hold your turn. And a three point ride for Luana Silva. Yeah, we're taking a look here at Luana Silva. Still yet to see the number populate for this ride. She's got 1.3 and a 3.17. And she, the 17 year old handling that quite well as a rookie on tour. And I expect big things from her this year. Brisa Hennessy dropping into this one. Patient off the bottom. Nice arc off the top. Again, pacing her approach here to Sunset Beach. Another oh. little hack there. Inside section presents itself, has to come around this section, and a little late there oh. and just gets gobbled up. Yeah, it looked like there was some hesitation as to whether I hit this lip or not at the last minute. Yeah, I better. And, and it was a little bit late to the party. <laughs> Yeah, I love how the girls are really taking it to sunset now. You know, as Brissa, she drove so hard off the bottom and just kind of checked back into that whitewash section waiting for that wave to present itself. This was a beautiful turn right in the pocket. Looks like she was almost looking for the barrel on the inside there and then just throws herself into the whitewash and gets slapped in the face. <laughs> Not the best way to finish a wave, but that turn was cracking. Six points, the last score for Sally Fitzgibbons, Lane. And there's that finishing closeout whitewater climb. They went out there and said, look, it's all right for women to be out these in these challenging conditions. And I'm really grateful for the pioneers and the strength and courage and tenacity of people like Margot and Lynn Boyer, because uh, if they didn't continue to defy the odds and challenge the status quo, then we wouldn't be talking about the, the evolution of women surfing like we are today. She sure did. Thank you, LB. Here we go, up and riding. Sally Fitzgibbons, Kipes. Sally Fitzgibbons with a strong start, already has a six point ride, and she's looking in control here, just toying with the sunset, nice carving maneuvers down the face, looking for a nice finish. She hits a little bit of deep water there, and she kicks out, so she's gonna back up her six point ride, and she will take the lead at this point with that elimination round. But first, let's go through some replays. Here's Sally Fitzgibbons. A couple of little S turns down the face, filling the uh, time that it takes to drop down the face with some turns, comes onto the inside, and as you said, that deeper water just connects with that one. Dropping into this one. Skitters through a bottom turn, skitters through a top turn. Wave steepens up on the inside here for Hennessy. Snapping maneuver, eyes up the inside section, and a little layback hat under the lip, she kicks out and she will get the backup to her opener of a 5.5, 12 minutes remaining. Here we go, Brisa drives off the bottom. It's not often you see people surfing in Hawaii with long legged wetsuits, but maybe it's a lycra perhaps. Nice snap there on the inside, waiting for this next little section and that, that go-to layback snap. 
has been used on both of her rides so far. Well served. Here she is again. Back to live action with Risa Hennessy having to come around this section. Does so. Nice carve off the top. Wave's going to steepen up on the inside here. Attacks Woo! the lip, and the lip attacks back. Needing that 5.47. Here's Sally. Streaking down the line. Beautiful carve there. Wave grows through the inside section. Another huge top turn for Sally Fitzgibbons as she straightens out, completes the ride, looking to better her low of a 4.13. Your thoughts, BL? And you can see here the white water on the face of this one. It's, it's amazing how often we see people take off on waves with white water on them from the wave before, but then they clean up and stand up on the inside. I feel like this is the best wave of the heat so far, perhaps two aggressive, strong maneuvers. And the water angle makes it more realistic, helps us to understand the size of the waves and the, 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 the water texture that's out there. All of the bump to negotiate, and Fitzgibbon's doing a good job keeping it on rail through that top turn. Yeah, the last two, you see that front arm flares back and then drives forward. Little tweak of the back leg to stylize that moment, pumping and driving around into this nice tight to the pocket. Leans it over, nice control. The seven point ride proves that she didn't need to up into the lead. Here we go, Risa Hennessy drops down to second place but completes that maneuver there. Needs a 7.23 to take over the lead from Sally Fitzgibbons. Fast, Fitzgibbons is actually pretty dominant in this heat. We'll be back with more action here at Sunset. There it goes. Horn sounds. Let's make it official. Brisa Hennessy taking out this heat. Sally Fitzgibbons avoids the elim elimination round.